Hello, this is Marvelyn Brown with Inward Business Services. Today we're going to talk about planning, planning for Halloween. Now, if you are a business owner, this is the time. This is um, the middle of July. It's a little bit past the middle of July. And you might be thinking, why are we talking about planning for Halloween, right? Um, there are a lot of things that you might want to consider, you know, maybe some prep work that you might want to do. Um, you might want to think about, you know, the kinds of products that you want to either feature or promote for your Halloween campaign. But you want to be thinking about campaigns from now through the end of the year. And so now is a great time to get started with all of those uh, different campaigns. Now, believe it or not, we're really in the time of... Uh, the biggest holiday and shopping season for the entire year. And that is, you know, the time period of October through December. So you want to start planning now for all of those different promotions, thinking about what you want to do and how you want to structure your campaigns. So we're going to talk about Halloween today, but I want you to also start thinking about uh, back to school. We have all of the back to school stuff going on. We also have um, some of those smaller observances that happen um, between now and the end of the year, things like Labor Day. Um, we also have a big uh, Veterans Day um, promotion time uh, in, uh, I believe that's in November. We also have Thanksgiving. We have the, you know, the fall season, you know, the, the beginning of fall. And then, of course, we have Christmas. And so a lot of times people think, you know, Christmas is the only day or the only thing to strive for. But when you have a business, you really have to think about all of those opportunities that you're going to have to make a great connection with your ideal customer. So this, um, this video is really going to walk you through that and give you some ideas. So um, we already talked about some of the things that you're going to get from this video, but the thing that you want to think about is the fact that Halloween is one of the biggest holidays of the year in terms of consumer spending. Now, I believe in years past, Halloween has only been second to Christmas. So that means that people are out there spending lots of money. There are a lot of people who get into the Halloween season, whether they really get into it or whether they get into it with their kids, you know, doing fun family type um, Halloween activities. And so you want to tap into that. Even if you don't have a business that's related directly to Halloween, you can still participate. And we're going to talk about uh, some of the ways that you can do that here in a moment. So think about, you know, this video will give you some great ideas. I also have a blog post that I did, um, and I do this blog post. It's been on my blog for a long time, but every year I kind of go in and kind of freshen it up uh, for the current information. So definitely check that out, and I'll put a link to it um, at the end of this video. So now the first thing we want to do, at least this is how I approach my uh, promotions. I try to get as much data as possible. So when it comes to Halloween, we can always go back to last year's data. Now, you know, last year was pretty special because we had the pandemic. And so you have to consider that a lot of the activities that would have taken place in a normal year um, were kind of put on standby. Some of them didn't happen or some of them happened maybe virtually. But this is the data, um, and I have a lot more data on my blog post, but this is kind of uh, the highlight. So when you think about the fact that 58%, now this is based on um, a survey done by the National Retail Federation. And, you know, they track a lot of uh, consumer spending, holiday, event, um, you know, all the things that affect retail sales. And they do a lot of research in that area. And so you can go to their website for a lot of great information that will help you plan your promotions. But they did a survey last year, and what they found was that 58% of the people that they surveyed plan to participate in Halloween. And that's even with the pandemic. So that's a pretty high number. That's more than half 
of the people that they surveyed that said, yes, they plan to participate in uh, Halloween activities. The average spending uh, per person for Halloween, this is last year, was $92.12. That's almost $100 per person. So when you think about that, you know, wouldn't it be great for your business to be able to tap into some of that? Total plan spending um, came to $8 billion for last year. So this is a huge market that you definitely want to tap into. Um, some of the top plan purchases include things like costumes, candy, decorations, and greeting cards. So now if you are a business that has, maybe you make some of the, the items that are on this list, maybe you make some great Halloween candy or you have a great Halloween dessert, or you make great looking costumes. Maybe you specialize in Halloween type costumes. Um, maybe you have a business that deals with uh, decorations. You know, even if it's something like a fall decoration, a lot of people use fall decorations for the Halloween season. And then if you're great at making greeting cards, this is something that you can tap into. And this is just, you know, based on last year's data. So the first thing you want to do is you want to think about a product or service that you can promote. So do you make something? Do you use something that someone else made? Um, and so you think about the categories that we just talked about. Um, you can also do things like services. So you can maybe, if you're someone who does services for entrepreneurs, maybe you're a virtual assistant. Maybe you're someone who does web design or maybe you're a graphic designer and you can make products for busy entrepreneurs. A lot of entrepreneurs want to do things, but they just don't have time. So if you can make something for them or you can provide a service that will help them, then this is really a great time for you to get out there and start promoting those products and services. The other thing that you want to think about is finding gaps in the market. So something that doesn't um, exist, you know, what is, what is out there, what is needed in the marketplace that doesn't exist that you can do, you can fill that gap and maybe, you know, do something that is unique that other people have not even thought about yet. The other thing that you want to do when you are promoting um, for Halloween is you want to run social media campaigns. So you want to do things like this. You know, you want to create your visuals. You want to create visuals. Um, and I said that already. <laughs> you want to create videos. That's really what I meant to say. You want to create videos, visuals, and all the things that will help you, um, you know, send this message, whatever your advertising message is, you want to send it out to as many people as possible. So if you are coming up with some kind of Halloween promotion, then you want to find somebody or you want to make um, your own um, images that will promote what you are offering. Um, some of the things that you might want to think about are just some short posts with maybe um, a hashtag, or you might want to do a Facebook Live, or you might want to create a video. Or maybe if you have a podcast, you might want to throw some information into your podcast that lets people know where to find your Halloween deals. And then when you use your hashtags, make sure that you promote them on some of your other media so that your audience will know where to find your posts. Dress to impress. So this has to do with, you know, having a dress up contest. So whether you do it virtually or whether you do it in person, you know, having a Halloween uh, costume contest is always um, a very popular thing that you can do to either, you know, help your customers have more fun, your employees or both. And, you know, put the information on your Facebook page or your TikTok or, or whatever, your website, you know, take pictures and videos and of course get permission from, you know, everyone who uh, participates. But you want to, you know, get as much publicity as possible from your activity so that, you know, people can see that you are a business. You're actually a, um, a business that exists, that's not a scam and you're, you know, trustworthy and someone that they want to do business with. So think about a costume 
contest. And I have a lot more detail about these um, areas that we're talking about on my blog. So you might want to check that out. Become a sponsor. So you can sponsor an event. So maybe you're busy and you just don't have time to put together anything inside your business or on your website, but you might want to sponsor any, um, an event. You might want to partner with some of the, um, the community um, leaders who are putting together events, especially events for kids. There are a lot of events that happen to keep kids safe during the Halloween season. And maybe you can partner with some of those companies or some of those organizations and, um, and really get some great uh, feedback for your business. Spin it to win it. Now, this is kind of a spin on the uh, baby shower game where you put like jelly beans in a jar and people guess the number of jelly beans. This is a really cute way that they did it with the candy corn ribbon and, you know, really made it look cute. But you can just basically put some candy corn pieces in a jar and have people guess as to how much or how many pieces are in the jar. And of course, the person that comes up with the number that is closest to the actual number will win a prize. And that's basically how this goes. So you can do this online. You can do it in your physical location. It's a really quick and easy Halloween um, activity that only takes a few minutes. And so there are a lot more ideas um, on my blog and you can get to that at innerwordservices.com forward slash Halloween. Um, so definitely check out that blog post. And then at the end of the blog post, I've also included a free worksheet that you can use to plan for Halloween or any campaign that you plan to run uh, going forward. So you're going to get the worksheet. You're going to get a video with um, bonus planning tips. And so all of that is waiting for you at innerwordservices.com forward slash Halloween. So I hope you've gotten something from this video that will help you plan your promotions. Don't just wing it. Don't have things going around in your head that you might want to do or you think you want to do or you plan to do. Write it down, make it happen. You know, when you write things down and you have an actual plan, it really helps you to achieve your goals, whatever those goals are. So um, go ahead and set a goal, create a plan, and then make passive income this holiday season. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.